reminds the court that there is no law on how to what applies for secondary offerings of digital assets that might have previously been offered under an investment contract. Yeah, so, so you just mentioned it. The, 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 the low value payment space is really skyrocketing and banks are actually uniquely positioned to capitalize on this growth. So, and what this means is that as CBDCs will be rolled out, they can you know, automatically, immediately scale and be used globally. And all of that, uh, we're achieving it through SWIFT's new transaction manager that is acting as a bridge. They have pre-existing laws, pre-crypto laws, and they enforce them quite actively. So in a way, this is regulation by enforcement, although the commissions, of course, dispute that proposition. So they don't like the term regulation by enforcement, but in fact, this is what they do. Because in the United States, most financial institutions will say, hey, let's wait and see what happens here. So when people ask me, what happens if we lose? Like, I'm already operating as if I lost. Right, the XRP doesn't trade in the United States. You know, it can't get worse. If you're one of the largest banks in the world, you you want to push pause or stop on technology because <laughs> you know, because you're 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 in the lead. So of course, like you know, you say you love technology, but obviously, you know, you wish you could stop it. So. Look at the amount of times Warren Buffett increased his net worth and how many doubles it was. Look at this, from forty uh, from one hundred forty thousand to twenty five million. You know what that is? That's 178x, 178x. It's different, but it's very pretty out here. I believe they're setting up the flag now. If you got a bag, welcome to the Wealth Exit. Welcome back to some more Moon O'Clock News. No breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra bullishness. Shout out to the latest sub, Christopher Jewell in the building. Appreciate you stopping by. Excellent. Go ahead, throw on those pilot shades and buckle up because the future's extra, extra bullish. Let's go full speed, full throttle on the road to exponential wealth. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today, right around $934 billion, down about 2.8 in the past 24. We got XRP right around 47 and a half cents. Down about 3.5 in the past 24. We got BTC right around 18,844 ETH, right around 1250. And we got Stellar XLM in the number 27 spot, about 11 cents, down about 3.8 in the past 24. What's on today, Thursday, the 13th of October? The final day of Cybos is here, but there's still more to see. Join us as we discuss the next frontier of digital assets the future of sustainable investments, and how APIs can help achieve your business goals. Ripple API. James K. Filon, I remit, Inc. has formally filed the amicus brief in support of the Ripple defendant's motion for summary judgment. Welcome in. Chamber of Digital Commerce discusses the amicus brief and the opportunity the court has to shape the legal framework and the rules of the road for the digital asset industry and make America and crypto great again with XRP. However, the court, the brief does mention that to the extent the judge does go beyond initial offerings and its, its decision or consideration and discusses secondary trading, it again reminds the court that there is no law on how to what applies for secondary offerings of digital assets that might have previously been offered under an investment contract. So it's a clean slate for legislation for the SEC to provide guidance on secondary offerings of digital assets and what law applies in that context. DAI, the XRP community lit this match and this the fact, Jack. Welcome to the party, Grayscale. Grayscale has filed the opening brief in our lawsuit against the SEC, Gary, challenging their decision to deny our application to convert GBTC to a spot Bitcoin ETF. Looks like the cavalry starting to file in. John Dean, before people go thinking we're being unfair or just too harsh on SEC lawyers, remember it was the federal judge who said they're being hypocritical and lacked a faithful allegiance to the law. That would keep me up at night if the judge said that about me not honoring my oath. So, so who was their real allegiance to? They got him on that blockchain trail. Starting to sound a lot more like good versus evil here. Swift JP Morgan announcement at Cybos today. Swift Go and JP Morgan expedite remit joint forces. New payment solution. Low value cross border payments. What is Swift Go, and why is now the best time to roll it out? Yes. Yeah, so you just mentioned it. The, 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 the low value payment space is really skyrocketing, and banks are actually uniquely positioned to capitalize on this growth. 
Since the beginning of the year, I'm super happy to announce that we've tripled the number of banks signing SwiftGo. So we went from 120 to now more than 400 banks. More importantly, the, co- the solution actually covers all the currencies in the world. All you need is a clearing bank so that you can start actually servicing customers in their local and non-local currency. And those payments arrive for 87% of them in three minutes. So what we are trying to do is to help banks capture and retain these consumer and consumer consumer to consumer flows, which as I mentioned, they had sort of stepped away from that market. And if you look at banks, they have largely ceded that space to fintechs and money service businesses. And the fintechs and money service bureau showed them that this can actually be a big business. And by the way, most of those firms use bank fails in the back end. So then banks have started focusing on low value payments. What we are trying to do is to help them settle real time where possible with full principal protection and upfront costs. And if you add all types of consumer payments, it can be more than $4 trillion. So it's a huge market and it's growing at double digit pace. So that's why everyone is suddenly interested in it. Ripple's been perfectly positioned since about 2012. XRP's built for payments, built for cross-border payments, still ticking. XRP, all ledgers closed since inception. JPM and Goldman's worst nightmare. This is why Ripple's being sued. They'll try to bring it down. They will fail and they will adopt the product. Because of on-demand liquidity, substantively advantageous features to facilitate cross-border payments, speed, ease, reliability. First, ODL has the ability to transfer funds almost instantaneously. No three minutes. Traditional financial institutions, commercial banks can take three to five days to settle international fund transfers and are often unavailable on evenings weekends and holidays, even if cryptocurrencies like BTC or ETH can take 10 or 15 minutes to record a transaction. But XRP running on the XRP ledger can support more than 1,500 transactions per second with confirmation speeds under five seconds. Simply put, on-demand liquidity is exponentially faster for customers, faster than Swift, faster than JPM. Is this a battle or where they all interoperate with the annualized transaction value of more than $100 billion? Our newest member, Modular Finance, is the leading provider of embedded payments to businesses across the UK and Europe. See how they'll be taking a leading role in driving our thought leadership. I love reading Ripple Partners doing more than 100 billion in transactions a year. Bring it on. Swift CEO, new transaction manager, acts like a bridge and enables CBDC, DLT networks to be interlinked. Interoperability, not just with each other, but with existing payment systems. Uh we are also taking innovation to the next level. And you know, let's take uh, CBDCs and uh, digital money. Over 100 countries now exploring CBDCs. I mean, you may have heard, uh, seen it already that uh, last week we announced the results of uh, groundbreaking experiments in that field uh, with, uh, that show essentially that CBDC DLT networks can be interlinked and not just with each other all over the world, but also with existing payment systems. And what this means is that as CBDCs will be rolled out, they can you know, automatically, immediately scale and be used globally. And all of that, uh, we're achieving it through Swift's new transaction manager that is acting as a bridge. Welcome to the party, Cybos. XRP, the RippleNet, is already in position, been in position. Rail is already laid down. We're just waiting on the SEC in the US to catch up. Stellar's been in the news lately. Big milestone, Stellar Lumen smart contract platform. So Robin is now live on the future net. The Stellar Development Foundation made the announcement during Stellar's Meridian conference. So Robin will make Turing complete smart contracts available on Stellar Network. Also, it's not only impossible to both be trusted and trustless. At the same time, it's a reality. The Stellar Network is proof. Daniel Dixon closes out Meridian 2022 with a call to action for a more decentralized future. XRP, XLM, XRP Ville, the SEC causing more harm to U.S. innovation. Ripple Uber Connect 2022. U.S. regulators, specifically the major ones such as the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, and the CFTC, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, they have pre-existing laws, pre-crypto laws, and they enforce them quite actively. So in a way, this is regulation by enforcement, although the commissions, of course, dispute that proposition. So they don't like the term regulation by enforcement, but in fact, this is what they do. So we looked at all enforcement actions 
in the four-year period between 2017 and uh, the end of 2021. And we looked at the market reaction, the price reaction of the global crypto market. And we looked only at the largest coins, specifically about, uh, and tokens as well, about 3,000 of them, uh, with the, the market cap above $1 million. So what are the uh, results? First, the markets react negatively to US-led enforcement. This is not surprising. Um, and by the way, why would markets actually pay attention to the United States? Well, those two agencies and many other agencies within the United States have such expansive extraterritorial jurisdiction that it's really hard for foreign companies to avoid US regulation, specifically a regulation by the SEC and the CFTC. So that was finding number one. Find, the finding number two is as follows. The markets really uh, react very negatively, and uh, obviously the reaction is statistically significant to the SEC per se, and much less negatively or even positively to the CFTC. The SEC stifling American innovation. Also yesterday, Ripple dropped a whole bunch of videos here on their channel, Uber Connect. We got an update for NFTs on the XRP Ledger, version 1.94 to fix the XLS NFT token auto trust line bug hit 80%. Here comes XRP NFTs. XLS 20 still needs to hit 80%. This is the fix, and this still needs to even hit over 80% to start the timer. And once the bug fix gets voted in, and we got the XLS 20 vote here currently at 54%, we need to be above 80% open for voting. We got Law of Attraction, Falling Wedge, or Big Bull Flag. Blockchain backers, something weird is brewing out there. Dow Jones up 300 points. Bitcoin down. Even DXY, which is typically inverse, DXY down. BTC down. Something weird is brewing out there. Crypto Bull 2020, XRP about to explode. Setting up for that SEC Gary face melting new all time high. Pump, pump it up. Egg Crypto XRP Confluence support. Fib Channel 0.5 is a major support for the last two weeks, and now XRP is retesting it. XRP bounces from 44, the Fib Channel 0.5. Most probably it's the retest before the pump. So much higher prices, and this applies to 38 cents as well. XRP Army. BPM Wallet, the BPM ecosystem, comes at a crucial moment before greed ruins the live events industry forever. BPM will level the playing fields. Blink 182 pre sale was a effing joke. Ticketmaster has to be the worst platform ever created. Way to get a hold of BPM Wallet. We got Xless Coin. Join us on the Xless Vote and Projects AMA the 16th on Sunday, October at 3 p.m. BST. Projects participating in the Xless Vote will be joining us. We welcome all questions. So hopefully, get your support too in the November vote. Make sure to set the reminder Sunday, October 16th, 7 a.m. PST. We got Descent Wallets, your best wallet for XRP, XDC, XLM, Flare. We now have this week's newly added tokens and we have Flare Networks wrapped. Flare. Also, Descent Wallet now supports Flare Network account creation. We are excited to announce our latest update on Descent Wallet, which now supports Flare Network account creation in the wallet. Flare Networks currently operated in observation mode. During this period, access and utilization of the network activities are limited. After exiting the observation mode phase, the token distribution event will take place between the 24th of October and the 6th of November, subject to the Flare network status achieving full decentralization. Users can easily create a Flare account by searching for Flare when adding a new account to the wallet. So just go ahead and add new account, search for Flare, find Flare networks, and then go ahead and add it in. You can also search and add Wrap Flare as a custom token here to Flare Networks. You can also connect to Flare Networks in the Discovery tab. Just hit this little globe right here, look for Flare, connect to Flare Networks, and you'll be good to go. Descent Wallets. Crypto and Cowboy Ripple as a company, we've grown gangbusters over the last two years despite the SEC FUD and despite trying to stifle XRP in the Ripple Net. We've signed hundreds of new contracts with financial institutions globally. The thing to understand is today, when, when the SEC sued Ripple, basically every exchange in the United States either halted trading of XRP or delisted XRP. So for all intents and purposes, you know, XRP does not have liquidity in the United States. Uh, Ripple as a company, you know, it's, we have grown gangbusters over the last two years, uh, but we've, you know, we've signed you know, hundreds of new contracts with financial institutions globally, and you know, very, very few here in the United States, because in the United States, most financial institutions will say, hey, let's wait and see what happens here. 
So when people ask me, what happens if we lose? Like, I'm already operating as if I lost, right? The XRP doesn't trade in the United States. You know, it can't get worse, right? It, so, I mean, I, look, it is kind of funny. It's also like what the problem is with, you know, having a regulator who, in this case, it, it, they're kind of being a bully. And you know, they're kind of, the reason why they're able to get a lot of settlements is because people don't have the, the financial resources, the commitment uh, to, to really fight it. And you know, could, would we be in a better position now had we tried, you know, been more flexible in settling way back when? Maybe, but the whole industry would be in a worse place. Ripple's got the A team. We got the evidence. We got the superior tech. Get those jumpsuits. Get those gel cells ready. Gary, you there? We got newly released Swift promo video features a chessboard, a Sonic, and ends with a checkmate move. Also, Mr. Pool. Checkmate, Mr. Pool, XRP. Ripple's been sued for the better and superior technology because they know what's coming and they can't stop it. We have the technology to allow every financial institution on the planet to settle with every other financial institution in a compatible jurisdiction in any asset in seconds for less than a penny. Just think about this. You, you, anyone who's made a payment knows that we're nowhere near that today. But imagine every financial institution settling with every other financial institution in seconds for less than a penny, any asset. That's fundamentally transformative. We have the technology to do it. Now we just need to figure out how to drive the adoption. And of course, there's all the challenges with there's incumbents, there's regulation, there's inertia. You know, there's the big, big, there's big players who are really trying to defend, you know, if you're at the, if you're one of the largest banks in the world, you you want to push pause or stop on technology because <laughs> you know, because you're you're in, you're in the lead. So of course, like you know, you say you love technology, but obviously you know you wish you could stop it. So we have the technology. The elite pushing the pause button on XRP, but the longer the base, the higher we fly in space. Know what you hold, the opportunity, and how to create long term wealth. The builders are entering the conversation. Load up. Why you still have some time? I want to make a point to you guys. Everything I just showed you, this is a snapshot they have on one page. It shows Dow where it was to where it's at today. Interest rates, how many times it changed. Home price value, how many times it changed. But this is the one I want to show you. Look at the amount of times Warren Buffett increased his net worth and how many doubles it was. Look at this. From, uh, from 140,000 to 25 million, you know what that is? That's 178x. 178x. The next one is 25x from 25 million to 620. How many of you guys would like to increase your net worth 25x the next 13 years? Would anybody like that? That's exactly the point. From 1957 to 1970, 178x. Where will you be when the dust gets settled and everyone's using XRP? XRP, the keys to the new financial system, the new 1%. If you got a bag, welcome to the party. And the longer they take, the more bags we get and the higher we climb on that XRP rich list and the more X's we get, 589X. Where will you be when that XRP flip gets switched and those rockets take flight? We'll catch you at the next exit, the wealth exit up here on the mothership. I am the XRP bagman, the moon commander, currently up here. Stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more Moon O'Clock News. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD, buy up that bag. Don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button from the top floor and we'll catch you up here on the mothership for the moon party BYOB be your own bank peace out crypto ghost welcome to the future welcome to the show I told you so so I told you so so Crypto 
will be our passion Cause what you focus on, you attract like a magnet Got diamond hands, we hold on